Um, here we are, cusp of a new season. How, how are you feeling and how, how's the general mood? Mood is great. Mood is great. It always is this time of year. Very, very exciting time of the year. Everyone's very ambitious, optimistic about the season. Uh, our pre-season plans have gone brilliantly. I think we were, we were lucky to have a trip to Antigua, which was, which was a great month away. So end of January through through February, um, and I think the that the the benefit of that has been very evident in our pre-season back here. People have hit the ground running. Um, everyone's in a really good place. Um, had a good three days against Lee, Lee's Bradford, uh, and people, all, batters, bowlers, everyone seems to be in a really good place at the moment. I think Gloucestershire is the first fixture, isn't it? I mean, how um, how your preparation is going for that? Yeah, really good. I think you know we're we're relatively injury free, um, so it's great to be able to pick from a full squad. Uh, I think everyone now is ready to go. You know, it gets to that point during pre-season where people just want to go and play. I think that's a really good sign. You can just tell the way people are feeling around the place, how they're playing, their attitude. They just want to get cracking now and um, you know, get off the season a really good start. I mean, you were a bit unlucky last season, and there used to be two teams that that, that came up. That I mean, that's not significantly sort of. Um, uh, been a blow of any kind for you is must have been frustrating. Yeah, I think look, everybody knew what the situation was before the start of the season. We all knew it'd be one team, and we all knew whoever finished second would feel aggrieved. Um, as it was, it was us. Um, and for sure, you feel frustrated, and you feel you you put a good season together, good enough to get up. Um, but we knew, we knew, we knew the rules, and and that was that. Um, what is encouraging is how well we played, and any other year we would have come up. So that gives us great confidence going into this season. Uh, I think this year will be a tougher league in Division 2. I think you've got Notts back in Div, in Div 2. Sussex have recruited very well. Durham are back in Division 2. Obviously, have been penalised heavy, but will be certainly out there to prove a point. Um, Derbyshire have, have, have improved and, and recruited very well. So there's some good sides in Division 2. So it's going to be a challenge. But you know, I know if we can play to our, to our best, we'll be certainly up there challenging. I'm just interested to hear your views on the, on the endless debate between the future of Test cricket and 2020, especially with this looks like more than talk now of a mm. domestic league. Mm. What is the future of Test cricket? I mean, it's such a wonderful game, but 2020 seems to be rampant. I think I think Test cricket will always be there, and I hope it is, and I think four-day cricket will always be here, and I hope it, I hope it remains the same. It's where I always felt as a player you would judge the most, your, your championship statistics, your first-class statistics. Test cricket is such a wonderful game, and I think there's still so many games being played around the world that provides such great entertainment and such great level of cricket. 2020, obviously it's no secret that it's become probably the most popular format of the sport. Um, it's here to stay, I think we've got to accept it. Um, obviously the, the franchise um, cricket that is being talked about for the next, well, obviously three years time is a long way off. I think it's inevitable. I think it was always going to be inevitable that it was probably going to arrive, um, trying to compete with other big competitions around the world. I, I personally think our competition is, is fantastic, um, but that's not to say I'm pretty excited about the future of, of the T20 competition as well. And I think, like anything, you have to move on and accept the change and try and give it your best shot and try and accept it and enjoy what's coming around. Finally, any particular players you're very excited about, even if they're newcomers or mm. signs? Or well, well, most of them really. I think you know they're they're a great bunch of of individuals. They're when they play like they have done last year throughout the season, we're a great team. Um, I think it'd be really interesting to see the the evolution of Sam uh, of um, Sean Dixon this year. Had a great great introduction last year into our team and and show what he can do. So I'm really interested to see how he goes. Joe Denley's looked in fantastic form through pre-season. Um, you know he's he's due an extraordinary you know, big year. You know he's a good enough player to be leading the run the run charts throughout the country, let alone our, our team. Uh, Matt Coles again, another very exciting prospect who's who's got so much talent, who's been an outstanding bowler in county cricket for the last couple of years. You, and what we want is those guys now to really become the best, become the best in the country, um, not just settle for being, you know, relatively relatively successful in our own group of players, but really challenge themselves to be be leaders in the country.